Assalamu alaikum. Today we are in the MCBS class of uh, Isra University and uh, we are discussing the topic of health care economics. In the earlier lecture we just discussed the care economy. So we shall continue that what is the link of the care economy and in the care economy it was mentioned that it is a fastest growing profession of the future. It includes health care and even the household care by the woman to the children, to the elderly and even to the household activities or even in agriculture sectors, a lot of women are picking crops, harvesting weeds, paddy and even they are involved in the cleaning of the houses as well as they are looking to the sick members of the family. So this is a care economy and if we calculate in terms of money, dollars or rupees or any other currency like euro or yuan, then it will be a huge amount which is contributed by the care profession or care providers. So let us see next slide. Yes, healthcare economics is term used to describe the various factors that cover both Basically, the economics is a science of supply and demand. Any factor which requires supply or availability, whether it is a kind of uh, service, it is kind of product. Suppose tea, for example, if the tea demand is more, then the supply will be required more. And if the supply is more and demand is less, then the, the prices of the tea may come down. And the same is true if the more doctors are available and their fees can be a little bit compromised. But if there are few doctors, suppose uh, good gynecologists in Hyderabad are very few, and if you see the rush of the patients, so it is the demand and the supply question that the healthcare economics do. And the healthcare economics is spending the role, role of the patient, role of the provider, the impact on the risk and insurance, benefits, and so on and so forth. Next. This actually shows that spending here in economics, everything is translated into monetary terms or in cost terms or in terms of budgets and in terms of uh, uh, kind of exchange of the currency. And you can say that ultimately the services are turned into paid for whether it is direct payment or through checks or drafts or any other mechanism, even online payment is very common nowadays. The role of patient is important because there are more patients and more doctors. So there is a different category of care in different hospitals. Some are just dealing with the liver transplant, kidney transplant. Or even some are dealing with the tuberculosis patient, they are not dealing with other patients, suppose quarterly TBS uh, Institute in Hyderabad. Or some are mental hospitals in which only mental patients are dealt, and four to five hundred or seven hundred patients are available daily in the OPD. So the supply is more and demand is more, the doctors were very few. And if you see the rooms and the space, then it was also narrow if we consider the five of the patient. And then the role of providers, the impact of the risk and benefits and payment reforms are required. Next. So this is a spending growth, we can see the role of patient. Uh, you can see that it is also industry, technology and health. Health is now basically a kind of industry. They are uh, calculating benefits 
and expenditure as well as they are using a lot of technology and even when you will visit the dentist it will charge it in thousands while if you will go to the GP it will charge in hundreds and if you even go to the big private hospital the room charge room charges are more than 50,000 per night apart from the procedures of surgery so the surgery and other things are also important this is supply and demand basically you can see the economics so it is the care demanded and what is the supply suppose in rural area lady doctors are less and even the surgical hands lady doctors are very less so their charges are higher patients are more and they are charged and sometimes they are not particularly dealing correctly to the delivery cases and sometimes we have lot of deaths of the mothers of uh, pricing is also important how much charges you will charge from the patient suppose even in my hospital uh, in the welfare there is a less charge but on the non-welfare side more charges are there, so this is there. Next please. Uh, insurance and uh, provider and healthcare production. Then the benefit design. By an insurance plan, it is available. If you have insurance card, then you can get access as well as you can get subsidized uh, services. Next. And then, this is another chart which shows that there are different methods of the payment. Next. Yes, yes. But on the study also shown that the, on the one hand, it is a mission to provide value to the patient by helping their lives get healthier, more meaningful life. Value of the patient, value of the life on the one side, and the value of the cost, and value of the managing revenue income. Next. So, healthcare policy makers, medical providers, they must be trained in health economics in the terms of demand and terms of supply. Suppose, even in the admission, 200,000 students have applied in the MDCAT and only 20,000 will be selected. What about the next the remaining 180,000 people, where they will go? So now the healthcare system has devolved to the medical and allied medical sciences. So now they are channeling and getting their students or aspirants in other fields in an in allied medical science. So with this I think you have some idea that economics is also applied to the healthcare, economics applied to the care profession, economics applied to the life and disease situation also and even if you are opening a hospital you must know the healthcare economics first. Even employment of the doctors, employment of the nurses, employment of the paramedical as well as the flow of the patients, disease pattern, these all can be considered. So with this Dr. Shimizuji channel is thanking you today and hopefully this lecture will provide you insight of a new topic of health economics. This is part of our care economics. That is one of the future more implied or implying field or a new field in which you can have different kind of care providers, even now artificial intelligence, computer-based care, telemedicine, digital health can also come as a health economics field in the future. Uh, please uh, uh, like it, share it. 
And if there are any comments and you want to have a new topic, then we can have this. So with this, I think we are ending this topic and we will cover it in the next. Thank you.